What's up, everybody? You watch your own arrow, Nick Driver, the Nick Driver podcast here on YouTube. I drop content daily. Hey, man, got my Hawaii shirt on today. Big shout out to Tulsi Gabbard. Hey, man. So, guys, we are looking at an article that is starting to get a little bit of traction here. Uh, you guys can find this article on the New York Post conservative brief. Dot com, The Daily Caller, Lucian, American Thinker, and PJ Media. So there's lots and lots of news sources that are picking up on this story. All right, guys. So it looks like Kamala's dad has warned against mass immigration as a quote-unquote serious problem for blacks is how he says it. That is his words verbatim. So let's pull the article up. All right, guys. So here we go. This is the article from the New York Post. Check it out here. Let's check it out. Kamala Harris is Marx's dad issued a warning against mass immigration. Serious problem for blacks. All right, guys, there's at least one Harris who does not believe in open borders. Donald Harris, an emeritus professor at Stanford University, issued a warning against mass immigration of low skilled workers in 1988. He co-authored, titled, Black Economic Progress, an Agenda for the 1990s. Harris, now 86, was unequivocal at the time. Economist Donald Harris, who rarely speaks to his daughter, was a critic of mass migration in the 1980s, saying that it hurts black Americans. Quote, Trends in international trade have moved against the U.S. workers, he wrote. U.S. immigration laws have been modified in a way that increases the influx of low-skilled workers, who compete with native-born youths and low-skilled adult workers for low-skilled jobs. This shift has been a particular serious problem for blacks who constitute a high proportion of the low-skilled adult workers, according to his book. Harris, a Marxist economist, lives just two miles away from his daughter in Washington, D.C., but the two rarely speak. The chilly relations stretch back to Harris's divorce from Kamala's mother in 1972, and his losing a bitter custody battle. The book published just two years after the 1986 immigrant amnesty law signed by then President Ronald Reagan is typical of far left economic thinking on immigration. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders was once a sharp critic of mass migration and blasted open borders as a Koch brothers proposal. It would make everybody in America poorer. Bernie Sanders told lefty columnist Ezra Klein in 2015. It's very interesting to see these types of things, you know, and looking at where we have actually gone as a society and how much things have actually changed. It's pretty crazy. Vice President Harris has supported granting illegal aliens pathways to citizenship. It continues to make the idea a pillar of her 2024 presidential race. The U.S. Citizenship Act of 2021, which the Biden-Harris administration introduced on the first day in office, would have granted legal status to millions of illegal aliens currently living in the United States. The influx of illegal immigrants and thus low-skilled labor advocated by Harris Walls exacerbates inequalities by driving down wages and creating competition among those already marginalized, particularly black Americans. Black GOP political consultant Sher Michael Singleton told The Post, the welfare of native-born citizens, particularly those who have historically faced injustices like black Americans, must come first. I agree. The problem with illegal immigration isn't merely economic, but existential. The Harris campaign and Professor Harris both did not respond to requests for comment by the Post. Well, there you go, guys. You have a situation here where even Kamala Harris's dad knows that this is a pretty bad idea, and he's a Marxist. So, I, I mean, I mean, you know, what do you really do in this situation? You know, we try to bring a lot of things to light here on the Nick Dropper podcast, and we try to, you know, tell everybody these different situations that's happening. But it really just comes down to what people are going to end up voting for at the end of the day. Her dad believes mass 
migration into the United States is actually horrible for black Americans because it takes away some of these jobs that black Americans uh, hold in abundant numbers. So guys, this is pretty rowdy to me that, you know, even after all this information keeps coming out and we keep seeing all these things, people just keep voting. They People keep voting the way they always voted. Nothing ever changes. I'm hoping this year with the Trump administration, I'm hoping they can pull a win out. It looks like with RFK being that he is actually really hell bent on making our food healthier, getting a lot of these dyes out of the foods that we are eating consuming and you know just attempting to actually do that is amazing because that's a lot of big corporate people he's gonna be going against you know and you know we got Tulsi Gabbard that is now working with the Trump administration we've got Vivek Ramaswamy we've got uh Elon Musk guys I saw a beautiful video today it's by Jordan Peterson and it's called Trump's X-Men and you guys know Anytime somebody can wrap up the X-Men into a political format, you know I'm going to tune in. So, you guys have a blessed day. Take care. You watch your own air with Nick Driver and Nick Driver podcast. See y'all on the next one.